Meghan and Harry have major plans to make themselves more popular than ever. Prince Harry's plans to make himself more popular than ever before have been exposed by a royal expert. Prince Harry has suffered a dip in popularity since exiting royal duties with wife, Meghan. A September YouGov poll showed positive opinions of the royal dropped from 43% to 34%. But royal expert Neil Sean has claimed Harry hopes to make a popularity comeback following the release of his memoir later this year. Mr. Sean said, Prince Harry has a plan which he believes will make him popular once again in fact, more popular than ever before. Part of the reason his popularity dipped recently is that he's misunderstood, people don't understand what he's gone through. I disagree totally because he's never shut up quite frankly. But he feels that this book will correct all of that because people will see the true inner self of Harry. They'll find out the real man and totally understand what he's all about. His comments come as Prince Charles has been warned to watch out as his son, Harry will reveal royal secrets in his own tell-all memoir. Harry has promised to give an accurate and wholly truthful account of his life which will be released towards the end of 2022. Home life during the breakup of Prince Charles and Diana's marriage. The period of Diana's death and its aftermath, Harry's relationship with Camilla. And past girlfriends are likely to form part of the book which will be eagerly anticipated by readers. The Duke of Sussex stepped down from his royal duties in March 2020 with wife. Meghan before moving to the US. A weekly entertainment director Travis Cronin said, Prince Harry is writing a tell-all book. And it's bound to reveal a lot of royal secrets that are further going to embarrass the royal family. In this unexpected twist, Prince Harry's upcoming memoir has sent shockwaves. Through the royal family and sources are telling us that they are not happy. The insider adds that they haven't received a copy yet so they don't know what to expect so it's making them nervous. Senior editor Sarah Heron added, Charles better watch out. I think if we've learned anything from this press tour in these months, I think we are going to get more tea. Finding Freedom has been updated since its publication last summer with a new chapter that publisher Harper Collins said. We'll also recount Meghan's emotional healing journey from losing a child to the birth of their daughter. Co-authors Ahmed Scobia and Caroline Duran's book chronicles the Duke and Duchess's romance and brief period as members of the monarchy before they broke away to forge a new life for themselves and son Archie in America. Harper Collins said the epilogue in the paperback edition will share behind the scenes of Harry and Meghan's groundbreaking interview with Oprah, details behind the couple's move to California, and the various philanthropic and business endeavors the Sussexes have been involved with since their move and what's to come with archival productions. Prince Harry popped up this weekend in an unexpected location, a famous rodeo in Fort Worth, Texas. The Duke of Sussex was spotted in a green cowboy hat. As he attended the Stockyards Championship Rodeo at Cowtown Coliseum. A local paper in Fort Worth covered his visit, writing. Prince Harry traded his family's crown for a cowboy hat on a weekend visit to Cowtown. Similarly. Royal reporter Omid Scobie tweeted that the Duke enjoyed some good Al Southern hospitality and received a VIP tour of the venue. Similarly, Melton Bull Company a partner of the Stockyard Rodeo that raises and trains rodeo and competition bulls shared but soon deleted the same image, writing. Prince Harry hanging out at the rodeo this week. We get a lot of rodeo royalty. But this is the first prince I've seen said he was going to enter the bull riding but the airline lost his rigging bag. In the image of Prince Harry that is now circulated, he does not seem too pleased to be photographed. It's unlikely that Prince Harry simply flew to Fort Worth for just a rodeo. Perhaps he was there on a work trip or to visit a friend. But regardless, it wasn't his first time hanging around cowboys and horses. His grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, is known for her love of all things equestrian, and in 2003, Prince Harry followed her passions. He spent his gap year working as a jack crew, aka a cowboy, in Tulumbila, Queensland, Australia. Since moving to the US with his wife Meghan, Prince Harry has taken in a number of all-American activities. Last month, Harry and his cousin Princess Eugenie were spotted at the Super Bowl. And there, Harry met Mickey Guyton, the country singer who performed the national anthem. Two weeks ago, Harry and Meghan received the NAACP President's Award at the 53rd Annual NAACP Image Awards. 
I think it's safe to say that I come from a very different background from my incredible wife. Yet our lives were brought together for a reason, Prince Harry said in his remarks. We share a commitment to a life of service, a responsibility to combat injustice, and a belief that the most often overlooked are the most important to listen to. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.